Hey everybody, this is Clay, the Average Gamer, and uh, bringing to you today a game of Team Deathmatch on another one of the Escalation map packs, uh, new maps. Uh, this is uh, Stockpile. Um, and, you know, I'm sticking to the same tactics that I was sticking to uh, at, the, uh, at my previous video. Um, in case you didn't see it, I'll go ahead and kind of go over them. I'm using a silencer. I've got Ghost and Ninja. Um, this, these were all my first night really to play these map packs, so I'm playing very cautiously and trying to stay to the outside of the map and um, just kind of patrolling everything and trying to pick people up as I see them. Um, now, this main building here uh, is one of the most highly trafficked areas in this, this game. Kind of all of the battles, they kind of take place right around here. Um, I found that there was a lot of people, of course, that would be inside. <laughs> There, I was adjusting my volume. I think this was actually the first game of the night, and uh, I kind of went in that corner, and the volume was way too loud on my headset, so I had to adjust it. That guy, it was just bad timing on my part, man. Uh, anyway, um, so but once everybody, once somebody gets killed, then they they spawn outside that little area, and then they make their way back to the center of the map. At least that's the way it has been for uh, the first the, the start of this uh, release of this map pack. Um, and so it seemed like that this uh, patrolling the outside of the, the uh, map ended up working pretty good again for me um, on this, this particular game. Now, I will say that I have started to get, uh, have had enough time to, to kind of play the maps and, um, and, and get to know them a little bit better. Um, so I've taken off um, uh, uh, Ghost and uh, replaced it with uh, Hardline. And that's kind of what I typically like to run with on my primary class whenever I'm, I'm playing. And uh, so I'm slowly trying to um, adjust myself where I can get and play these maps with uh, my primary class, which is, is typically uh, Hardline, um, Slide of Hand, and uh, Ninja. Good grief, why in the world does it take me so long to think of that? Um, so yeah... And uh, and then instead of running a silencer, I will typically run dual mags on just any uh, one of the assault rifles, depending on, I, I don't know, whatever I'm in the mood to shoot with for the day. So, um, yeah, I have actually been able to make that transition and start uh, start playing a little bit like I normally do. Um, you know, today, guys, today is a good day. <laughs> I um, For those of you that don't know, I've, I've got two kids. And I love them to death. Uh, and, but last night they spent the night over at my parents' house. And uh, today uh, I stayed up way too late last night uh, playing games. I actually played some Search and Destroy. I put a, a clip of one of the guys that um, that I was playing with. He had a really nice uh, clutch uh, ace on on one of the rounds. And uh, the the uh, host ended up dashboarding. Uh, the host was on the other team and. So and he didn't wasn't able to put that that clip in his uh, file share, and so I, I happened to be recording that night. So I, I cut the clip out for him and, and posted it up on my channel, so uh, you guys can see it, and so uh, so he could see it as well. And um, and anyway, so it, I ended up having a uh, quite a bit of fun playing uh, Search and Destroy last night, which is a game type that I typically uh, don't play. Um, you know, I, I listen to people talk about sound whoring a lot and how they're able to uh, hear all these people. And it's really hard for me, honestly, with the, like a team death match. Uh, now, free for all may be different because, you know, anybody you see, you just shoot at them. Uh, but team death match, it's, it's a little bit more difficult for me to hear kind of what's going on. I've honestly, I've really started picking it up um, a, a lot lately, which I'm ecstatic about because, um, you know, I like being able to know where the other team is. But in Search and Destroy, I, I mean, they are absolutely just easy to, to figure out where they are. And, and uh, so having Ninja equipped for Search and Destroy has been a, a pretty awesome little uh, perk, at least for, for that game type. And uh, like I said, it's one that a game type that I don't typically play, but uh, I did. I have the past uh, couple nights, I've been playing with one of my subscribers and... Uh, and uh, and it's, a, it's just been a lot of fun. You know, and I'll tell you something about being on YouTube. I, you know, I don't have a, a bunch of subscribers, but uh, it's really cool because the subscribers that I, I do have, I've had a, a, a chance to um, play play with and, and, and get to know. And, man, there's just some, some cool people out there. I've had a lot of fun. I, I'm glad I've started doing this. And, um, you know, I, I don't promote myself uh, 
really very much at all. Um, you know, I just feel weird about sending uh, sending messages with "Hey, join my stuff," and you know, getting views is uh, definitely difficult on uh, on YouTube. But um, in, in the end, I, I just uh, I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel right. I figure if somebody wants to find my my channel and and um, and, and likes my content, that's why I want them to subscribe. Not not because uh, you know. I subscribe to them, so they subscribe to me back. Um, it, anyway, that's just kind of my uh, my thoughts and my philosophy on it. I, I do this because I enjoy it, and I said that from the beginning. Um, you know, if I get a bunch of subscribers, great. If I if I don't, then you know I, I'm still having a blast doing these gameplays and commentaries. I mean, I, I've literally been recording everything, and yeah, I think it's important if if you guys are ever thinking about doing a YouTube channel or. Uh, for those that that come across my channel and um, and happen on this video, and uh, you know, if it's something that you're thinking about uh, doing, make sure you're doing it for, because you enjoy it, not necessarily because you want to have a a ton of subscribers. Because uh, the the bottom line is, I mean, that everybody's got a channel right now, and um, y you know, a lot of the the big time uh, YouTube commentators, I mean. They make it look uh, pretty cool, you know. I mean, they've got you know hundreds of thousands of subscribers and talking about whatever they want and and putting just random stuff up and uh, getting you know thousands of views off of it and uh, partnering and and with uh, with people and making money and you know just I, I, not saying that it that it can be done, but you know it, it takes work. It probably takes a lot more work than um, than I've honestly got the time to to put into it and uh so be happy with what you got go into it for the right reasons and and uh and don't be disappointed whenever you you don't have uh if you don't have a bunch of views or or anything like that um like i said it's something that i i started doing and i contemplated for a long time and um there's honestly uh <laughs> a pretty deep story behind the reason that i i, I do these um it's not just i wanted people to um see my gameplay or to keep a track of my gameplay um one that uh, is kind of personal uh i probably won't go into uh a lot of details uh now maybe at some point in time i will um you never know but anyway i ended up with a decent game on this 21 and 7 it wasn't awesome but it uh definitely was um uh, better than you know what my typical average gameplay is this is a nice uh drop crotch shot here by uh, my friend kevin red rum and uh Anyway, so it was a good night. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Uh, until next time, this is The Average Gamer. Um, if you like, always feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm out, guys. Later.